Good morning, I am Francia Lucido of BSC 3B and today I will be discussing about bridge maintenance and traffic services. Bridge maintenance and traffic services are just one of the components of road maintenance. In this diagram, you will see that road maintenance has six components, the surface maintenance, roadside and drainage, shoulders and approach, snow and ice control, bridge maintenance, and traffic services. But in this video, we will just tackle the last two components since the former has already been discussed by the previous reporter. However, we no longer include snow and ice control since the Philippines has a tropical climate and it is impossible for the country to have snow. How important bridges are? Bridges are integral feature of a country's infrastructure. It is designed to allow raw materials and finished goods to be transported to factories, warehouses, suppliers, distributors, retailers, and end users. Bridges also facilitate travel so consumers can purchase goods and services in their own communities and beyond. When a bridge closes or suddenly collapses, economic activity slows or grinds to a complete halt. Bridges are vital not just for the transport of commodities, but also for the mobility of people. In this video, you'll notice that the bridge is fractured and is on the verge of collapsing at any moment. Despite this, people continue to attempt to cross the risky bridge until it collapses completely, putting people's lives to death. In order to avert such situation, it is a must to have a regular bridge maintenance. What is bridge maintenance then? Bridge maintenance is the upkeeping of the bridge components in good and serviceable condition so as to ensure a longer life of the bridge as envisaged at the time of its design and construction. So, in bridge maintenance from the word itself, we are ensuring or upkeeping that the bridge will serve its purpose in a long run. Even if the bridges are well designed and properly constructed, they must be properly monitored and maintained on a regular basis to ensure that they remain in good working order and can last as long as they were intended. There are two distinct types of approach with regards to bridge maintenance. The first one is proactive and the other one is reactive. Fundamentally, proactive maintenance might be described as the opposite of reactive maintenance. So, here is the difference. In reactive maintenance, it operates on a run-to-failure philosophy that minimizes maintenance time and investment. Proactive maintenance, on the other hand, takes steps to anticipate and resolve problems before they occur. The keyword in reactive maintenance is run to failure, which means maintenance is performed after equipment has broken down. This kind of maintenance is costly because the structure tends to fail unexpectedly, resulting to higher costs for repairs and unplanned downtime. Conversely, Proactive or preventive maintenance addresses possible issues before they occur, thus reducing the chances of unexpected equipment failure. It is done to preserve, not simply repair entire bridges and their components, prevent future deterioration, and sustain or improve their condition. Acting in a preventive manner is proactive and can improve both equipment lifetimes and safety outcomes. Since maintenance is linked with both downtime and expense, it is frequently postponed in the hopes of increasing output and profit. However, this avoidance can be more detrimental in the long run. It's crucial to understand that the cost of performing unplanned maintenance is typically three times that of executing planned maintenance. Therefore, a reactive maintenance culture is not an ideal approach. The other technique, which is proactive maintenance, is the best and probably the most cost-effective. Now, let's take a look at the most cost-effective maintenance activities to be adopted in maintaining bridges. The first one is seal or replace leaking joints or eliminate deck joints. This helps minimize deterioration of the superstructure and elements under the joints. Another one is seal deck overlays. This increases the life of the deck by protecting the surface from strong chemicals, weather events, and daily wear. Next, 
Install Cathodic Protection Systems Cathodic Protection or CP is an electrochemical corrosion mitigation technique. When a bridge structure is exposed to salt, it can expect corrosion of the embedded steel during its service life. Cathodic protection has proven itself as the only permanent repair of existing corroded steel reinforced concrete. Another one is Employ Electrochemical Chloride Extraction Electrochemical chloride extraction and desalination removes chloride ions from contaminated concrete and reinstates the passivity of steel reinforcement. Chloride is extracted by creating a temporary electric field between the concrete reinforcement and an anode mesh that is installed externally. During the process, chloride levels are reduced and a high pH environment is created to return the steel reinforcement to a passive condition. In short, employing electrochemical chloride extraction will remove chloride ions that may be present on or around steel components. This helps to protect against corrosion. It is also important to repair concrete. This should take place at the same time as other preventive measures. It protects other bridge elements including ones made of steel from damage and corrosion. Frequently paint and treat areas that experience significant wear and tear. This extends the life of the most vulnerable bridge elements. Another thing to do is to regularly paint and coat all steel components. Painting protects bridges from the harmful effects of corrosion and is an important preventive maintenance activity to extend the life of a bridge. This is the best way to prevent corrosion and avoid the deterioration of critical structural steel elements which is often the most costly and difficult to replace. Next, proactively repair and replace fatigue and fracture prone details. Treating welds and connective sections can help prevent permanent damage to them and the areas they are connected to. Also, adding redundant system is generally cheaper than replacing the damage once. Install scar prevention measures. Scarring is defined as the lowering or loss of top bed soil around the bridge piers, abutments, spurs, and etc. due to the water flow currents. Scarring is always a potential threat to bridge stability and eventually it can lead to foundation failure. As a response, scar prevention measures must be installed to avoid future and unanticipated failures. Removal of debris is also a must. Trash and other debris may contain chemicals that damage structural elements. It can also block water flow which may cause significant wear. It is also important to install jackets and other protective systems around the concrete piles. This is the best way to protect against underbridge corrosion and deterioration. Another one is install utility infrastructure protection. Utility components installed under bridges are vulnerable to weather and environmental damage. Installing protective devices can extend their life for decades. So much with that, bridges must also be washed in a regular basis. Cleaning decks, joints and drains along with all superstructure and substructure elements will slow deterioration of concrete and steel. This sums up the things carried out by experienced personnel during bridge maintenance. Let us now proceed to the next topic which is the traffic services. Traffic services include stripping, repair of road signs, maintenance of street lights and signals, as well as coping up with emergencies. What is traffic management and how it is important? Traffic management is the organization, arrangement, guidance and control of stationary and moving traffic, including vehicles, bicyclists, and pedestrians through a construction zone. Proper traffic management is essential to create safe, orderly, and efficient movement of persons and goods while also aiming to protect the quality of the local environment. In other words, traffic management refers to a set of actions taken to maintain traffic capacity while also improving the overall security, safety, and reliability of the transportation system. Stripping It is mentioned earlier that traffic services includes stripping. 
Strips or road surface markings are used on pavements to provide guidance and information to drivers and pedestrians. Stripping is a continuous function since it is significant in assuring a safe, smooth, and efficient traffic flow. These pavement markings are effective way of communicating information to drivers on the road. They play essential roles in road safety, directing vehicles for both short and long-range driving activities. Another important traffic service is the repair of road signs. Road signs or traffic signs are signs erected at the site or above the roads to give instruction or provide information to road users. These signs are utilized to facilitate road traffic and increase road safety through the adoption of uniform traffic rules. There are three types of road signs, the regulatory signs, warning signs, and guide or informative signs. Maintenance of traffic signals. Traffic signals offer maximum control at intersections. They relay messages of both what to do and what not to do. The primary function of any traffic signal is to assign right of way to conflicting movements of traffic at an intersection. It is also essential to maintain street lights or highway lights. Street lights provide well lighted streets and neighborhood by illuminating roads, highways, parks, and other public spaces, we reduce the risks of accidents such as nighttime crashes, reduces the risk of injuries as well as unwanted crimes. Therefore, traffic signals and streetlights are extremely necessary as this ensure the safety of vehicles and pedestrians. As such, it is essential that signals and lights be maintained to remain functional and efficient at all times. That ends my report on bridge maintenance and traffic services. Thank you for listening.